Hello everyone, how are you today? It's Kay. So this is the 25th of February and this is on Friday. So happy Friday to everyone. Thank you for uh, watching this video. So this is a video session. It's not a live stream because uh, I have to go outside and go to banks to do some transfer bank and also I'm opening a new bank account. So this week has been very busy for myself. So after I did the special live stream on this Tuesday, uh, I have been outside almost like all day, every day, and uh, I was so busy. But I took some trades uh, this week. The market were uh, very active, uh, you know, due to what's happening in Russia and Ukraine. Uh, we see some uh, nice spikes in trending markets. So I was able to capture some nice tips. But uh, so today, this video is recorded one hour before usually the live stream starts. So this is at uh, 1 p.m. in UTC time zone. But uh, in this video, I would like to talk about the ascending P wave and with the time cycles. Because, um, you know, when you see the P wave, uh, ascending P wave, I will show it to you on the chart uh, very soon. But uh, when you see ascending P wave structure, the market goes up and down and uh, the market goes up and touch resistance and it retrace backwards and retrace back to the support level of the trend line and it bounces up again and be resisted at the previous resistance level and goes backwards but uh, the market uh, actually goes at uh, the low lows are get, getting higher and higher while the resistance at the same level and this is ascending p wave in Ichimoku, this is ascending triangle, uh, usually uh, what it says. But uh, in this ascending P wave, uh, you know the market goes up gradually, uh, the lows get higher gradually, and eventually the market breaks uh, resistance bullish. But by combining time cycle analysis also, and also by looking at the Ichimoku five lines, you will kind of have the idea of roughly when the market potentially retrace and be supported bounce and breaks so this is a topic that i would like to discuss today p wave ascending p wave potential breakout with each move five lines and time cycles so because i happen to find one good example for this so let me start to talk about this one so let me switch the screen okay so uh, before starting here a quick disclaimer is that the, uh, this content is all based on my own experience. So when you take trace, when you decide to take trace, please do at your own risk. And also, uh, this is video session, but uh, if you want to make comments on the below comment, be comment section below, please uh, follow the rules and guidelines because after all, we're all here to learn. Okay, so, uh, oh yeah, and yesterday, this is you know, off, a bit off topic, but uh, briefly, yesterday I did the shisha first time in my life. And uh, I think the way I did shisha maybe was wrong, that uh, I feel very dull today. I don't know if it's, if it's usual or not, but uh, I was, you know, just uh, asking the, uh, the staff, restaurant staff to, to uh, help me how to do shisha. And I did. It was it was very good. I mean, uh, the flavor was nice. It was first time. I never uh, I never smoked cigarette before in my life, so it was totally first time for me to smoke something in my life. And uh, but uh, yesterday I did a night and I slept last night. But sleep was a very like few hours, only like three hours, four hours. I was I was able to sleep. And after I wake up in the morning today my brain was still very like uh, you know awake and i couldn't sleep again i wasn't able to take a nap again today so um i'm not sure if this is usual or not if you have done shisha before or if you are doing this regularly please let me know on the comment or email uh, if uh, if there's a proper way to do shisha i think i will talk more about this topic in second channel but uh, yeah, so uh, sorry about the off topic. So let me, and that's why you hear my voice is coming low today because of this, uh, I have some uh, you know, sore in my throat right now. Okay, so anyways, um, let me switch to trading view. 
fit into trading view and this is the market that I would like to discuss on the P wave today. So this is pound JPY and this is in daily time frame. As you can see, the resistances are very much close. So there are some some you know uh, pips difference in the resistance, but roughly the market has been resisted at 158.24 level. Now, whenever the market re market reaches to that level, near that level, that it retraces backwards every time. So this is the resistance area, 158.24, and but the lows are getting higher. Um, so higher lows. If you see supports, this one did not really touch the trend line, but uh, now yesterday the market touched the trend line and looks like it's going upwards. So this is ascending P wave structure, and uh, slightly uh, the low from the low on the 24th January is a bit lower than yesterday's low, technically speaking. So this is technically um, higher lows. So um, this is ascending P wave and in this case as I mentioned uh, previously uh, we can expect the market breaks bullish in this way so before talking about the time cycles uh, let me talk about the five lines situation because you can find something very much interesting about this market and first you can look at the Chikou span you know Chikou span uh, by its nature Chikou span tends to trace the previous candles. Chikou span is only shifted 26 candles backwards, but you see since um, since uh, 27th of December last year, Chikou span has been tracing the previous candles very nicely like this. So it has been tracing nicely and the market is now here. So as it traces today and tomorrow, or sorry, today and next Monday, could be bearish still continuously and the market may touch the trend line again and then as Chikou span keeps tracing um, the market potentially goes upwards as it follows as Chikou span follows the previous candles so in this situation uh, you better notice the Chikou span trace this is one of the Ichimoku strategies Ichimoku uniqueness about Chikou span so as long as Chikou span keeps tracing the previous candles, most likely market moves uh, along with the Chikou span like this to the previous candles. So that's one of the interesting thing about this market. And the other one is the Kumo. Kumo is flat. Kumo Senko span B is flat, and Senko span A is also flat. So that shows the market is flat um, range in the long term. Kumo shows long term market momentum, so it's range. And in terms of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, you can technically see that the Tenkan Sen is below the Kijun Sen now. So let me let me um, cancel the candlesticks so that you can see the clear view of the Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. So in my chart color setting, uh, Tenkan Sen is a blue one. So this is Tenkan Sen, and Kijun Sen is a green one. So this is Kijun Sen. So you see, Kijun Sen has been flat and Tenkan Sen retraced backwards as the market itself retraced backwards. And there was a dead cross a few days ago. There was a dead cross. And now Tenkan Sen is coming below the Kijun Sen now. So this is, uh, you know, th there was a dead cross of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen. And when you see this, market is bearish in the P wave. Market's bearish. So at this rate, as long as Tenkan Sen is below Kijun Sen in the P wave, most likely the P wave will be broken bearish. It will be bearish, broken. So, um, but since this is ascending P wave, this is ascending P wave, so the lows are getting higher, and that means there are more buyers and sellers since 3rd of December. So this, the beginning of the P wave was the 3rd of December. And ever since buyers come here in the market and sellers join, buyers come here and sellers join. But as the market goes up and down, there are more buyers and sellers. There are more buyer buying traders and sellers because simply because the lows are getting higher. So right now, Tenkan Sen below Kijun Sen. So this is 
bearish in terms of uh, Ichimoku lines, Ichimoku Han line. So in this in this case, uh, the market potentially breaks bearish. But since this is bullish end wave, sorry, this is uh, bullish end wave, end wave, and also this is ascending P wave at the same time, um, the market potentially breaks bullish. So here, what we have to wait for if you want to buy this market is when Tenkan Sen uh, comes above Kijun Sen. We have to wait until Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen goes across within the P wave uh, so that we can expect the market breaks the P wave bullish. And this is also one of the important things about this P wave in this with the Ichimoku 5 lines. So once again, in this situation, you better notice that Chikospan has been tracing the previous candles. So as it traces like this, the market may retrace a little bit, few days, maybe Monday, Tuesday, and then Wednesday onwards next week, potentially it goes bullish in this way. It's one of the expectations. And also, since this is ascending P wave, but Tenkan Sen below Kijun Sen, we better wait for the Tenkan Sen to be above the Kijun Sen. So we have to wait for Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen gold cross to happen to, to be able to look for the buy chance, to, uh, to expect the potential breakout. Um, you can actually wait for the breakout of the resistance and retrace and buy. But uh, usually I don't wait for the breakout because, uh, you know, when you see the breakout, it may take off all the way without retracing backwards. It may sometimes it goes all the way up. So at all, or uh, when, even if you see the breakout, the market soon retraces backwards and goes into range also. Maybe you've seen this pattern also many times. Either the market takes off without retracing or uh, the market retraces backwards and this part becomes fake and the market ranges afterwards or the market just you know keeps going down afterwards so with this in, with this reason uh, i don't wait for the breakout um, and wait for the retracement to buy but instead i look for the potential buying it before the p wave breakout so that once it breaks it tends to go up very fast and this is very time efficient and you can capture the pips more uh, than then you trade after the breakout in this way. So this is ascending P wave analysis on pound JPY in the daily time frame with the Ichimoku 5 lines. So, so far so good. And then this is a bit advanced, right? So here you can add time cycle analysis so that potentially until when, until which date the market goes up and until in exactly which date the market retraces back to the P wave uh, trend line, and uh, uh, and on what date the market turns and goes up and potentially breaks. So this part, you need to use. You can use time cycles to capture the rough sketch of roughly when the market turns in the P wave. So let me show you the time cycles. I have already placed time cycles here on my folder, on my trading view. So this is the time cycle. So let me just delete the arrow just to avoid the confusion. So here is time cycles. So I, in this P wave, what I usually do is I count, start to count the P wave from the beginning uh, of the P wave. I mean, I start to count time cycles, sorry, time cycles from the beginning of the P wave. So the P wave started on the 3rd of December, like I mentioned before, and what I usually do is I capture the swing lows and see how many candles on the swing lows so far. So first swing low, there was 12 bars. Let me just write it down because this number is a very, very small. Maybe you can't see by mobile. So this is 12. And from the low on the 20th of December until the 24th of January, in between there was 26. And 26 is one of the Kihonsuchi numbers. So we can see time cycle in 26 Kihonsuchi. So this is something uh, in Ichimoku, 26. And counting from 24th January until the next one, 24th of February, in between there was 24 bars, 24 candlesticks in between the lows. So you see the pattern 12, 
and 26 and 24. So 12 was a bit, uh, you know, smaller number, but 26 and 24 are very much similar. There is only two candlestick difference. So one or two candlestick difference is acceptable in Ichimoku time cycles. So in that sense, 26 and 24 are very much similar, and this is a trustable time cycles for the lows. So when you capture 26, 24, then you can capture the, pre, the uh, future turn date, turning date, which we call Henkabi in Japanese. We can capture the future Henkabi uh, in these time cycles. So counting from the 24th of February, uh, counting forward, let's say 24, it's going to be 29th of March. So 29th of March will be potential swing low within the P wave. Yeah. So far, so good. So this is 24. 26, it's going to be um, 31st of March. So in between 29 to 31st of March, uh, that will be the swing low within the time cycle. So you get the dot here. And you want to get the dot up here too. So that you know roughly when the market turns at the, at the resistance level. So to capture that, you do the same thing also on the highs. In terms of the highs on this time cycle, um, there was a you know, long week pointing upwards. So I took this date, uh, 16th of uh, December. Uh, there was a pin bar and counting from here um, until the 5th of January, there was 15 bars. So 17 as one of the Kihon Suchi number, 15 is very much close. So we can take 15 towards swing high in the P wave. And then counting from the 5th of January until 10th of February, there were 27 bars. So as I mentioned previously, 26 is one of the Kihon Suchi numbers. So 27 is very close, just one candlestick kind of difference. So when you see this time cycle 15, 27, then uh, most likely market turns after 27, 26, uh, uh, 26 candles to the future from this high on the 10th of February. And that date is going to be 18th of March. So 18th of March can be the swing high and 29th of March or 31st of March in between is going to be the future potential low within the P wave. So after you get these dots, simply you, you connect these dots. So the market may be you know, bullish until 18th of March and near 18th of March or exactly on the 18th of March, most likely market turns and goes bearish until 29th or to uh, 31st of March and then bounce and goes up and it may break bullish afterwards. So this is how you can combine uh, P wave and Ichimoku 5 lines with time cycles to capture potential future waves within the P wave. So time cycle uh, may seem to be very complex and uh, when you first try, uh, you may wonder where to start, where to start counting time cycles which high or low to take to start counting. And my advice is to take the swing low or swing highs. So simply when you see, when you take the daily chart and when you, um, you know, zoom out the chart like this and you see swing lows and swing highs. And simply you manually uh, count the number of candles between the lows and between the highs. And when you see some patterns with the Kihon Suchi numbers or Taito Suchi number, you know, same or similar series of numbers, that's Taito Suchi. Kihon Suchi is a series of numbers like uh, 9, 17, 26, 33, 42, and so on. That's Kihon Suchi numbers. But Taito Suchi can be with any numbers, let's say 12 bars or uh, 20, 29 bar, 30 bar, uh, whatever numbers it may be, if it's consecutive, like 12 bars after 12 bars and then 12 bars, it's the Taito Suchi number. So, Time cycles may appear either in Taito Suchi or Kihon Suchi, but uh, either way, when you see the pattern on the highs or lows, then you can extend it to the future so that you can capture potential future Henkabi. So this is 
how you can analyze the pound JPY daily time frame within the P wave with time cycles. And the one thing to note is that the uh, you know uh, these yes these are called henkabi. Henkabi means the um, changing date. So uh, uh, market may turn around the 18th of March. It may turn bearish, and 29th of March or 31st of March it may turn bullish afterwards. But this is just one of the scenarios, and this is the essence of Ichimoku because. You know, as you already may know, uh, nothing is in you know, 100%. We can't predict the future. We can only forecast the future logically and objectively and rationally. And that's what Ichimoku offers. And that's my mindset also. You know, I don't, I don't, I'm not trying to predict the future by time cycles. But so um, the reason, so the, the reason to put, time, to put the time cycle in the future is to, to be able to see the future reference date and reference uh, time uh, to, to, cap, to see the potential retrace or pushback. But if not, if let's say the market, let's say goes gradually goes up and let's say it doesn't reach the resistance, it may reach maybe halfway on the 18th of March and then turns bearish too. It happens too also. Or the market may break the P wave before 18th of March bearish. And then it may turn bullish also until 29th of March. Or it may break the P wave bullish before the 18th of March upwards like this way. And then it may turn bearish also. So, you know, we there are many, many scenarios like this by time cycles. So... You know, uh, so my suggestion is, yes, you can capture time cycles, but I don't, in a sense, you can't trust it. You, you don't want to trust the time cycles because uh, it may change over time. Uh, like I mentioned, one or two candles difference is acceptable. So you may see some, uh, you know, slight change in time cycles, or uh, you may see big change in time cycle in the future not 27 or maybe 17 or 33 could be the swing high or swing low in the future so this is just one of the examples and um, you know please do not trust the time cycles but uh, as you monitor the chart every day every week uh, compare the current market to time cycles and with the Ichimoku five lines and price actions so that you can create the future scenarios objectively and rationally and um, you know, logically. And that is the essence of Ichimoku. So this is an example of the P wave with time cycles. And I thought this is a good example. So I just wanted to share it with you. So I will keep these lines and uh, let's continue to monitor uh, until the end of March and see how it plays out. And if it change, if, if it changes the market situations, then uh, we can review together and uh, we can discuss how it changes and how we can renew time cycles to the future. Okay, so uh, yeah, that's it for today's uh, video. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you want to know more about the Ichimoku itself uh, and also time cycles, wave theory or price theory, then uh, you can always welcome to join my Ichimoku community. If you see the join button on YouTube, uh, that's, that's uh, how you can join. Just simply click the join button and follow the instructions on my, on my website. Uh, for, uh, th simple three steps to uh, get all the perks in the community. This is monthly subscription uh, and the, uh, the, the main topic is to really understand the Ichimoku Five lines and three theories, and also some advanced techniques of Ichimoku. On the other hand, there is a GTS Global Trading School, and this is my hands-on teaching. Up to five members in the group, and uh, it starts from April. Right now, there is only one seat available for April class. So, in case you're in interested to uh, for to my or to my hands-on teaching of my strategy. And not only Ichimoku by itself, 
but the multiple time frames analysis and also uh, risk management, stop loss management, and also uh, how to calculate a lot size, how to trade uh, with a uh, you know with a uh, in a professional way, and how to track records in spreadsheet, and also psychology of the tradings. If you want to know all these, uh, GTS Global Trading School is the one for you because this is where I teach my own strategy. Ichimoku communities teach. How to how to understand Ichimoku basics, of, uh, basically from the original books, but uh, GTS is my own strategy teaching, so that's the main difference of these two. So uh, yeah, if you would like to know more about it, you can also find the link below the description, and uh, you can come to my website and see more details. But uh, yeah, thank you for joining. Thanks for watching this video, everyone. So uh, yeah, from now, this is uh, 5, 12, uh, 5 uh, uh, 19 p.m. in Dubai time and I have to go outside in about 20 minutes and so I will get ready and uh, go to the banks. I have some, uh, I have to renew my contract of this, uh, you know, company and uh, related to that, I have to uh, set up the new bank account so I'm I was very busy on, on this week, February. So, but hopefully I can have more time next week so that I can do my lives and communicate with you and uh, you know, I can share my ideas about the markets. But uh, yeah, anyhow, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. So until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold everyone. Bye for now and happy Friday. Thank you. Matane.